Imagine this, you're deep in the wilderness hunting beavers when suddenly you're the one being hunted. Picture yourself in the shoes of Bauman, a grizzled and weather-beaten old mountain hunter. You're in the remote wilderness between Montana and Idaho, a place where the Salmon River carves its way through the thick forest and rugged mountains. But it's not the beauty of the landscape that's on your mind. No, you're focused on something far more sinister. You start to notice strange happenings around your camp. Your gear is tossed about, your food supplies ransacked, and an eerie feeling of being watched tightens its grip on you. You and your hunting companion are convinced it's a bear. But the relentless stalking and the aggressive encroachment on your camp suggest something else, something far more terrifying. But as night fell, the true horror of their situation became all too clear. As Bauman returned to camp he found a scene straight out of his worst nightmares. The camp, that was once a symbol of safety and shelter had been transformed into a chilling tableau of terror. The air was thick with an eerie silence, disrupted only by the whisper of the wind through the trees. Bauman's eyes fell upon his companion, lying lifeless in the heart of the camp. His friend's neck was snapped, a gruesome testament to the creature's monstrous strength. The campsite was in disarray, clear signs that the beast had returned to haunt them. Every snapped branch, every upturned stone screamed of the horror that had unfolded in Bauman's absence. The reality hit him hard, the cold sting of fear coursing through his veins. His companion was gone, taken by this creature they had mistaken for a bear. The terror was all too real and the threat was far from over. Bauman knew he had to get out of there, and fast. With only his rifle in hand Bauman made the desperate decision to flee. The mountain pass stretched out before him, a daunting path of uncertainty. His pulse pounded in his ears, each beat echoing the terror that drove him. The wilderness, once a familiar friend, had transformed into a menacing labyrinth hiding an unspeakable horror. Bauman didn't know what stalked him, but he was certain it was no ordinary beast. His mind spun with unsettling possibilities. Was it half human, a twisted hybrid of man and monster? Or was it half devil, a creature birthed from the darkest corners of the underworld? The chilling thought propelled him faster, each step a desperate bid for survival. His heart heavy with dread, Bauman abandoned his camp, his hunt, his past, and plunged into the unknown driven by primal fear. Bauman lived to tell the tale but the mystery of the creature that stalked him remains unsolved. What was this creature, Bigfoot or something else? Like share, subscribe?